Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gilly Nova, and for today's video, I have a special unboxing. It's the highly anticipated new phone from Apple. It's the iPhone 12 Pro, so let's get this unboxing started. So right here, we have the brand new iPhone 12 Pro box. As you can see, it is slimmer than previous years. And then for those who really want to compare it to previous years, I have the iPhone 6 right here, iPhone 6 Plus, and then I have the iPhone 10 box right here. So this right here is the iPhone 6. As you can see, the difference is pretty huge. Just some shots all around so you guys can compare. And then right here we have the iPhone 6 Plus. Huge difference. And then finally, this is the iPhone 10. I don't have the 11, so I can't really compare the difference from last year's version. And for those who really want to compare the box to previous years, I do have this phone, it's not an iPhone, but as you can see, wow, times have changed, definitely. So without further ado, let's open this box. Really easy passive to remove from the box. And what we've been waiting for, the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. Removing it from its box. We have this paper thing right in front. As you can see, it tells us the power button, the ringer button, and then the volume up and down. Down here, it tells us the chargers down here. This is my first time seeing the stainless steel on the side. As you can already see, there's already fingerprints, but honestly, if you really want to compare it to previous years, this one is the iPhone 10. And as you can see right here, there's already a lot of fingerprints. This one has a matte back, so you won't see any fingerprints. And then honestly, most of you are going to have a case over your phone anyway, so you won't really see the fingerprints and you won't have to worry about cleaning them. But underneath the phone, we have this USB-C to lightning cable. And then we have this really slim packaging. We have the SIM card needle and we have some warranty instructions right here. And one Apple sticker this year. Now let's go remove the paper screen protector. And bam! Woo! You can clearly see me reflected. If you're like me, you probably want to see how the iPhone looks like before you get it. So here is a close up all around. I'll try to go really slow for you guys. So as you can see on the very back, we have a nice frosted matte finish. This way you won't see any fingerprints on the back. On the side right here, we have stainless steel gold. Very nice in my opinion. That's why I picked this color. Obviously you can see all the fingerprints, but as I mentioned earlier, you're most likely going to have a case, so you don't have to really worry about it. As you see right in the bottom, we have a 5G antenna band. We have the speakers, a microphone, and of course the lightning cable. Turning to the left side, we have the usual buttons here as well. Up and down volume, and to turn off your sound. But yeah, this is the gold color finish. I don't believe there's that many YouTube videos right now. Probably about five released, but hopefully this is one of the first 10 videos on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's turn this phone on and let's set it up. Swipe up to open, going to pick English. I'm currently in the United States. So here is the quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. All right, so I'm putting it connected together like this. So this is the quick start. Bring your current iPhone near this iPhone to sign in and set up. So when I pick this up, maybe go back to back. Check here, okay, unlock to continue. So on your previous phone, this should show up. It shows my email, so that's why I'm blocking it. I hit continue. Okay, so now this should show up. Follow the instructions as it shows. So then now it asks to confirm your phone number. For me, this is the correct phone number. Hit next, it should activate your phone. All right, so while my iPhone 12 sets up, I'm gonna do a size comparison with the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 6, because I'm pretty sure this is when you guys are going to do a super cycle into the iPhone 12. So first I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the 10. This is the sides and then towards the back side, as you can see, it's just only slightly bigger the iPhone 12 compared to the iPhone 10. Now from the very bottom, it's very minuscule. You probably won't see the difference. And then now comparing it with the iPhone 6, I'm sorry, my screen cracked. The sad story about this was I cracked my screen the day before the iPhone 10 was announced and I had to live like this for the next two months until the iPhone 10 was released. So without further ado, this is a comparison with the iPhone 6. Big difference compared to the iPhone 10, of course. Placing it on the very back, here's the difference. Man, it was just one camera before, pretty crazy. Side by side on the volume side. Now if I want to compare the bottoms, it's still slightly different, not that much. And here is the huge difference between the 6 and the 12. So there you have it with the size comparisons with the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 12. 
I'm still waiting for this one to activate. Now they're gonna ask you for your face ID. Now that that's done, press continue. Now your phone's gonna ask you if you wanna transfer your data. So I finally activated my phone. Now you can see the difference between an iPhone 10, as I'm sure most of you guys have, and an iPhone 12 Pro. So here's a close-up of the phone. As you can see, the iPhone 12 Pro definitely has a small bezel compared to the iPhone 10. So placing the iPhone 10 on top, you can see that the difference is very minuscule. And then when you look at the screens, you can see that the 12 is definitely way bigger. The iPhone 10 has a 5.8 inch screen, while the iPhone 12 Pro has a 6.1 inch screen. And honestly, with my couple of hours of just holding this phone, it's pretty comfortable. I have no complaints at all. It does not feel hard or sharp on the sides. It's very easy to hold, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, and that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit the like button down below. If you're interested in seeing more iPhone 12 Pro content, please hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna have more content coming soon. I'm planning to use my brand new DJI OM4 so I'm gonna try my best to create some cinematic footage with this phone. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or you can reach me on Instagram at Gilianova. Until next time YouTube, stay gold.